Hi, this is me. Your average, run-of-the-mill, ordinary guy. Well into my 42nd year of life, watching my hairline retreat and my midsection fill out, finding myself busier than ever before, and also more tired than ever before, becoming increasingly sedentary with each passing day. An odd thing happened when I hit my fourth decade. The speed of everything around me seemed suddenly to take off at an exponential rate. And the more I try to keep up, the more I seem to fall behind. Maybe it's all the meetings. Maybe it's the incessant alerts on my phone, the endless flow of digital communications cascading down my computer screen. Maybe I'm just getting older and slower than I used to be. Or maybe I'm gradually becoming someone altogether different from who I've been all these years. I am many things, a husband, a father, a son, a brother, a colleague, a friend. I'm also a runner, at least I used to be a runner. I don't really remember a time when I wasn't running, whether it was distance races in grade school, track competitions in high school, the college cross country team, marathons, ultra marathons, mountain runs, but then Somewhere along the way, life happened. My third son was born. I started a new career. My wife and I bought a house and moved out of the city. And before I knew it, a brief hiatus from running had turned into five years. And now I am well into my 42nd year of life. When I was a child, I was always drawn to the fantasy genre. Knights and castles, elves and goblins, the battle between good and evil. As I grew older, this pull to fantasy likewise grew. I had discovered fantasy role-playing, fantasy tabletop gaming, fantasy LARPing, and Tolkien. Ah yes, Tolkien. In college, I took a course on the theology of the Lord of the Rings, where I spent the better part of 16 weeks immersed in the rich waters of fantasy at its finest. I cringe a bit when I read through my old essays I wrote for the class, but my memories of the curriculum itself are fond and fresh. Something about the legend of Middle-earth grabbed me as a 20-year-old student. Perhaps it was the vivid and brutal portrayal of the hero's journey. Perhaps it was the stubborn optimism that right would always prevail in the end. Perhaps it was a sense of light and purpose in what at many times in life appears to be an otherwise dark and senseless reality. Whatever it was, the legend grabbed me. And now, over 20 years later, I once again find myself drawn to that great narrative. Could this be nothing more than a sense of nostalgia born out of the perceived loss of my present moorings? Maybe. But I think it's far more than that. I think it's something far more significant. With the dawn of 2024, a new dream came to me. A dream to slow down and to be present in the present. A dream to lift my eyes in the now and through the moment to look ahead to a goal. A dream to start living again, one step at a time. And it is here that Tolkien came crashing down on me like a boulder on the head of a slumbering giant. Frodo's journey is, by all accounts, epic. A journey that stretches 2,897 kilometers from Bag End to Mount Doom with a single focused aim, to destroy the One Ring of Power. This is a journey of purpose and meaning. It is a journey in which all of us who have encountered the Lord of the Rings have at one point or another wished to participate, to join the fellowship, to join Frodo and Sam, if only for a moment, so as to have the chance to live out this legend in our own lives. This wish is that which lies at the heart of my current undertaking, what I am calling the Run of the Ring. An undertaking to follow the progress of the One Ring through Middle-earth, but to do so by running the entire journey, all 2,897 kilometers of it. Is this an unrealistic undertaking? Most likely. And here I hope that I'm not being too naive or too optimistic. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus tells a story about a man who begins to build a tower without first counting the cost. 
The man lays the foundation and begins to erect the walls, but as his money runs out, he is unable to continue the work, and because of this, he becomes the laughing stock of his village. I realize that the run of the ring is a costly undertaking. I realize that I have a massive journey ahead of me. I just hope I have the courage and endurance to complete it. Or, at least, I hope people don't laugh too hard were I to abandon the project. Do I suffer from illusions of grandeur and thinking that I am capable of this journey? That it is possible to make it to Mount Doom? Perhaps. But at this point in my life, well into my 42nd year, I am convinced that the failure to succeed at something great is far better than never making an attempt. So, in some sense, I guess, I have to believe I'm capable and that it is possible. What is perhaps most striking about Frodo's journey, apart from its sheer distance, is that Frodo never journeys alone. He has his hobbits. He has the fellowship. And when the fellowship breaks, he has his Sam. The run of the ring is not something that can be accomplished alone. I need others to come alongside me, my family, my friends, and you. Maybe you will join me in spirit, or maybe some of you will even join me somewhere on the physical journey. Either way, I need you. My plan is simple, to take the first step, to depart from Bag End, and to keep moving forward. To aid in this, I have created a basic training log that breaks down Frodo's journey day by day so that I will be able to weave in my own training days into the larger Lord of the Rings narrative. This training log is available for anyone who is curious about the run of the ring or for anyone who feels like joining me, if only for a short leg of the journey. In addition, I hope to be able to document through various platforms the important narrative milestones in my progress with the goal of one day being able to report the defeat of Sauron, that the One Ring has finally been destroyed. Yep, this is me, your average, run-of-the-mill, ordinary guy, well into my 42nd year of life, but now on an epic journey. And who knows, someday, someday, we might just cross paths, you and I, somewhere out there in Middle Earth, on the run of the ring.